I don't know how Fenway is going to do against Geese. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, and vice versa. Haven't seen the matchup that often. Let's see, guys. Losers finals. Make some noise. Kokoma versus Rocks Dragon Knee. Let's get it. Here we go. Interesting. It's interesting. He went for the wall setting too there. These guys are going to slug it out in the middle of the stage. Oh, they're reverse Kenpo step, yeah. and that's what he loves about this character. He's able to create opportunities that aren't usually there. We call the Kenpo stance Korean movement, automatic Korean movement. But imagine you're Korean as well. Yeah. Double Korean movement. Double back dash. Two for the price of one. <laughs> So yeah, Feng, a character that's super, super solid in a close range. Oh, he was ready for it. Don't even try that stuff, Bobby. No. What are you, an online player? <laughs> I've seen that before, mate. Damn, right when he did it the first time, man. That's going to have to change Kokuma's mindset here in the matchup. Yeah, I think he's regretting this blind pick right now. But it's not all doom and gloom right now. Geese with rage. Yeah. You know, one of the great things I really like about Geese that kind of makes him interesting here is his ability to use his rage art. His rage art is very, 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 very sick. It's unblockable. It's a high unblockable. But the wow, thing yeah. is here, it's because it's high, it, it's not the best. It's not the best, and, you know, it's kind of slow. Yeah. But there are certain situations where you can actually make it guaranteed. And, you know, I have not seen that yet in tournament play, so I wonder if any of these players are going to try to pull it out. Has Kakuma got those? He might. He Does might. he got those? He, he got these Tiger Knees. I'm sure you could do it. <laughs> nice keep out forward forward there. Very, very good stuff from me. Big oh, damage. Yeah, gets the shoulder there. Oh. Okay, of course, he's not going to get a huge um, punish on that shoulder. Oh, gets the counter hit. The follow, he misses the combo. I think he was going for running one there. No duck there from me. Big whiff. Decent punish. Uh, dropping away. They're about even on life. About to go into rage. Got to be careful, though. Mm. Haven't seen many parries from uh, Geese as well. Yeah, it's, it's a huge risk. Pushes him at the wall. Big up. It's at the noggin. Uh. And just like that, he is up two rounds to none. Fight. Kokomo probably thinking about which character he's going to pick. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Hit, nice back one. Hit him with the Iron Palm. Not counter hit. Super, super strong move that back one. Yeah. But you know, you can't count him out. He has two meters now. He has the ability to cancel the back three. You're going to see that knee coming into play. Nice sidestep afterwards. What's he going to do here? The classic setup. Down for two into the low jab. Trying to get a reaction out of knee, not 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 moving at all. Yeah, knee's just trying to try. He's just trying to pick his shots. He doesn't want to overextend and get hit by anything silly. Able to get the punish there with the one one two. Still having another opportunity here. Geese is kind. His can be kind of scary. Oh, that's punishable. Got him with it. Nice back dash into down two. Uh oh, Ooh. that might be it. I think that was an option for back three two. Oh my gosh. Sick knee. Three rounds straight. Just so solid here. An amazing shot. You can get to see the medals and the trophy which will be rewarded to our winner here. But man, back to the drawing board, I guess. We're going to the character select screen. Straight to character select. Ni using that one plus two with Feng, because uh, it would have uh, parried, uh, reversed the back three two. Yeah. Very, very interesting. Now, I don't think this is what Ni expects. He's locked in with Dragonov, I mean with Feng Wei. Yeah. And now he's going to have to deal with one of Kokoma's other characters here. But you know, Ni, he's super solid with every character. He can win with anyone, I think. I think Feng is good against Kazumi and Dragonov. It's yeah. going to be tough either way. He used Feng versus Dragunov and JDCR uh, back in the, uh, Phil I think the Philippines. Yeah. In the, Rev in Major. The, in the Battle of the Gods match. And uh, he did really well, actually. Back when JDCR was um, basically killing everyone. Oh, what's he going to do? He's going to have to make the hard decision. It looks like he's going to go in with Dragunov. He still has one more opportunity outside of this. So he has the ability to change the character one more time. But this yeah. is tough. I mean, you don't want to be in a situation where you're down 2-0. Because that is the biggest mountain you're going to have to climb in a tournament. Especially against someone like Ni as well, who's on such good form. Yeah. But we know at least that Ni has definitely trained this matchup. Yeah. We've seen it before, like I said. Yeah, so let's say this plays out. Let's say Ni takes this. What are you going to do? Because Ni has not really been put in a position yet where he has to climb the mountain. And, you know, he, he got spanked pretty hard yeah. in the winner's final. I gotta think about it. He has to be thinking about it too, like what character he's gonna end up using. But yes. obviously we're still gotta focus on this match, but right now I think he's in cruise control. He already mentioned Round before one. that he feels Dragonov and Fengwei, the Fengwei matchup is in his favor. Yeah, there you go. That Kenpo stance, which is really vital in this matchup to make the wall running twos with, even the down twos. Yeah, those two moves in particular seem to be the best moves that he has, and those are the problem moves, but if Fengwei is able to get the right read and do the reverse Kenpo in time, he's gonna get a launch. Yeah, and you see Kukama going with the slide there because that is actually going to hit the tempo. Yeah, but the problem is that slide's not going to hit all the time. Exactly. You can't do it all day. It's not the best move. Yeah. Uh oh, here we go. In rage. Oh, he went for it again. Yeah. And I like the timing here from Kokomo. He's starting to mix things up. Nice. Using the slide instead. You know what? 
he's yeah. doing some studying. Some he's adjustments. Actually dashing up a little bit as well so that he, does, so he doesn't whiff. Down nice. to down to chops. Oh, oh wow, threading the needle there with the down four too. But he misses the follow-up. Damn. Oh, pick it up. Oh no, he tried to go for the last 74. That would have been a, a combo. Yeah, he might have been able to end it there as well. But still living to fight. He has a huge life lead here. Oh. The slide again? Yeah, he is he's working it. But see, this is another problem here. If you beat if you beat him here, you're gonna give me a chance to switch characters as well. You gotta try though. He has to try. And, oh man, he gets oh. the side grab. UFC. Oh. Two. Now things are working out. Maybe he's getting a bit too confident. He's gonna have to be careful because that reverse Campbell step still might come into play. Yep, don't want to let E back in the game. Nice homie move goes for the Oki. And the slap in the crept. Nice one. Yeah, good hesitation there. He's kind of slightly delaying the use of the down too, so I like what he's doing here. He's not making it easy to block. Yeah. Can be quite difficult to low parry as well. Yeah, Ooh, nice. And you see a lot of the lo the lows that both of these characters or these players are using. It's not something you can easily react to. You're gonna have to, you know, kind of figure it out on your own. Try to make sure you guess for it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, power crush! Hit him out of the air though. Okay, power crush. He's taking him closer to the wall now. Nice low parry. That was my turn. Oh, this could be it. He's gonna get the wall here. Gets the break here. Going the other way. Shoulder. Wow, oh, what a combo. Man. Oh, and the patience there. Is this it? This is set point for me, right? Or is it? Oh, I what's, what's the score? No, it's 1 0 right oh, now. Oh, man. Might as well be. That's how convincing it is, right? <laughs> yeah. He's making the comeback. He's working it. Pokemon might have another chance, but right now it's looking really good for me. Is this going to be a reverse sweep? Three rounds comeback? Who knows? Oh, he tried to catch him ducking. Down two. Down oh. two again. Again, and he's been using it so much. Oh, but a great move here. He might be able to end it. Oh no, oh, he missed it! The wall saves him. I think he wanted the rage drive. And no punish on the shoulder. A mix up, what's he gonna do? Oh my god, it's so scary. He's not dying, rage drive. Oh, oh he, he got, got it, he got it! He's oh, not, not enough, he's not done! Damn, this is too close. Last hit, this is so vital! Ah, oh, the down forward four? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Me <laughs> with the clutch. His fang is not going down. Oh my gosh. Now, just like you said, this puts Kokoma in an infinitely worse pos uh, position. Yeah, now the biggest mountain to climb. What does he do? Does he switch to Kazumi? Or does he stick with Dragonov? There's no good way to go. What do you, oh, he's going to stage select. He's sticking to it. He felt confident, I guess, in the matchup, but there were certain mistakes he made. He started, you know, he started just climbing up defensively and he had to deal with the mix-ups from Nii. He was able to formulate a good plan with the use of the down twos and everything was working out. Yep. So he's going to have to just kind of stay away from the wall. Absolutely, yeah. You know, um, that one went right down to the last hit. So Gokoma has to have confidence in himself and not get too... Don't feel too down. He gave up a lot of opportunities to get, you know, the offensive momentum back in his favor. Mm. So that Kenpo stance really makes you doubt yourself. You don't want to really overextend too much. Yeah, that, that's the power of that move and the way that he has been using it. He hasn't really used it in the matchup, but just the fact that he knows, it's kind of limiting on what he's doing. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting. So maybe he should kind of forget about that and just go in normally and kind of... Oh my god, never there mind. There it is! Never mind. <laughs> See, we talked about that. <laughs> maybe he was feeling the same way, like there's no way he'll use it, and he did. Yeah. Jeez, he has yes, two to zero right now in favor of me. Really using that side step momentum here, which Feng side step one plus two, plus on block. Oh, nice. Okay, good. There's a fortunate wall splat there. Comeback time for Kokoma potentially. Nice. Gets him at the wall here. He's gonna do a lot of damage. Jeez. Look at that. He's already put it back. Looking to get it back here. Oh, oh the raise drive oh, talk to the blue shoulder. Kukoma. The blue stuff. Oh. That blue stuff is too much. Okay, nice. All these lows from, from me right now. Size so 1 plus 2. Nice. Using that basic punch. And look at it. He's controlling the match again. This is exactly what happened to Kokomo in the last match. He's going to have to be careful. Don't let me control it like this. Kokomo seems to not know what to do, man. He's walking all around him. Yeah, those down twos paying off. This time getting a low kick. And just like that, round one three. round away from moving on to our grand finals. D looking to get a rematch against Kudans. It's going to be crazy. Uh, Kukoma has such a long way back now. He's yeah. confidence soaring through the roof. And that's the problem. He's stuck with Dragonov too. That Kenpo stun's still such a problem. Yeah. He hasn't used any while running twos. Nice. Gets the punish there with the 4-1. Oh, he's able to back that shit slightly. Yep. The walk back. 
He's gonna have to be careful. He's, he might be getting too greedy again. Kokoma just seems unsure. He doesn't know what to do. These lows are just chipping away at him. 1-1. Uh, here we go. Goes for the down four. Three. Interesting. Here, here we go. go. Might be able to close it out and get around here. What's gonna happen? Oh, the Kenpo starts still. One down two will do it. Oh, he oh. went for the Raider. That's not gonna hit, is it? Oh, must have been a misinput, surely. Either that or the Round best read four. ever. <laughs> or never, right? That's true. Down four. Nice. Able to thread it in with the one two two. Yeah, knee yeah. size I think has been really, really good. Dragon of Mids not known to be so good with tracking. You know, it's really nice to see the refreshing character variety that we've seen so far in the top eight. Yeah, absolutely. Down to luck this time. And especially in this matchup here. It's kind of like the unexpected. We didn't expect this matchup, this particular matchup to happen. Yeah, absolutely. We didn't think that Feng would come out at all. Okay, here we go. Jabs. Okay, come on, working his way back now, but one rage drive could do it. Oh, this time going for the sidestep, one plus two. Reverse Kempo held the brakes that time. Come on, needs to pick his shot carefully. Yeah, very. got to be very careful because he has a sliver left and he's tying it up now. Two rounds apiece, man. Kokoma working this comeback right now. Another final round. Can Kokoma finish it this time? We'll see. We haven't seen many sidestep balls from me. He's been using the mid a lot. Maybe it's time to bring it out. You know, I feel like he's using better use of the running too, but the low parry there for me. Now he's going to push to the other side. What's he going to do here? He went for the tracking move. Nice sidestep from Kokoma as well. Yeah, but he's not going to get anything significant out of this. Some decent damage though. Down to Oki. Nice. Oh, reverse Kempo again. This side by the wall is not going to be as effective. He's in trouble. Oh. The fish hook. Can Kokoma stay alive here? Oh, no, the slidey. Oh, it's in the wild standing four. He gambled and he bet. He did not get sidestep that time. Wow. Kokoma staying alive. Yeah, I don't have a feeling he's going to stay confident enough to pick the same character. We're going to go to stage select here. He's going to stage select. Yeah, that's what I think I saw. Uh, yep. Interesting. Okay. I believe this is the stage where me and JDCR had that, that Feng versus Dragon of Battle as well. Oh, yeah. Last year, that was sick. But here we go. Kokoma making his way back into the set. 2-1, though. And he's still on set point. Sticks with Feng. Yeah, he has some insurance. I mean, I'm sure he was confident. It was a very, very close matchup. Could have gone either way, went to the final round, but Kokoma able to squeeze it out here. I feel like the more that Kokoma is able to play into this matchup, the more confident he's going to get, and the less he's going to make errant mistakes where he's just throwing out moves to get evaded by the reverse Kempo step. Yeah, absolutely. He's, he's timed himself perfectly. He's dashing up so that he can neutralize that stance. Oh, oh. that was an opportunity there. That's big, and that might play into his mindset again, but right now he still has the momentum going in his favor. Yeah, but one plus two throwing up, Brooke. What's going to be the okie dokie? He I rolled go. that time. That was interesting. Yeah. Again, it's inside step one plus two. The follow up here. He has back to the wall. That's going to hurt big time. One three into the shoulder. Big boy damage. Got to go for the Kishuk as well. And Quick 12 frame. Looking to close it out here. Down four, able to close it out. D again creating wow. the advantage now. He's up 2 1 in one round right now. Yes, that's a good start for Nii. Goes with the command two throw. Yeah, able not to get it. Slides. Haven't seen many slides. Yeah, not since the first part, uh, since the first time. Yeah, it was actually working for him. Here goes that Kenpo stance. Kokoma not biting. Yeah, and that's the thing. When you're playing a longer set, you're going to have to be able to pick your shots. You can't play the same way the entire time. Oh, yeah. You're going to have to keep refreshing yourself to create more opportunities. And that's the, that's the, that's the high-level mind game in just fighting games in general. Oh, man. There you go. Nice side step four. Gets the follow up there with the screw. It's going to be a ton of damage and wall carry. I know. Oh, he got him. Plus frames. Fish hook. Again. Oh, oh, he caught him can. out of the air. That was, that was a good opportunity Round for the up forward four, but the fish hook, just being Fun. as fast as it is, yep. able to close it out. Knee once again on set point here to move in to grand finals. This happened the last match they just played too. You know, Kokoma's having to make a comeback here. But the down two lost to the Kenpo again. Man, Knee on a tear right now. Nice, gets the block and the punish. Slidey. Take a uh, decent whip punish. He's going to have to be careful. I feel like that reverse Kempo step. He's in prime real estate right in the middle of the stage. He might be able to do it again. Down two into Wild 74. Using, Kokomo using the jab well to keep him out. Nice back one. Didn't let it go, though. That slide. Uh-oh. Has another chance to get the round here. He puts him into rage. Sliver of life left for Knee. He's not going to be able to survive a rage art. How's Knee going to approach? He has rage. 
think I think Kakuma is quite comfortable just sitting back. He doesn't have to really overextend here. Yeah, especially since he has the advantage there. Nice down far there, knowing that he had an opportunity to make sure he was going to hit. Yeah, just wait for your opportunity to strike. No need to panic. Yeah, and right now he's kind of maturing the matchup right now. He's playing very, very patient. And yeah. that's what I like to see. Not to set yourself up for a free hit. Kenpo. Kukuma being super patient, but the raw running two coming in. Yeah, I like how he's throwing out the hesitation too. He's like, you know, doing a mini dash into the running two this time. Yes. Down four, down four. Oh, and, you know, Nii is changing up his gameplay uh, style as well. Yeah. Going up with the annoying down four this time. Both guys playing at a really far out range. Like they're both waiting for each other to do something stupid. Yeah, that's the thing too. It's like he's wearing away at your patience. Oh my gosh, he backdashed just in time. That was sick. One, two, two. Oh Running my two. gosh. Come on. Side step four. We haven't seen that so often. Oh, he missed it. He had the wall there. Side wall kind of messed him up. The spring kick, the follow up. Oh, they both have rage. Gonna What's going to happen? No time left either. Five seconds left. It's a, oh, he went for the low. For no punish. The slidey. Oh, there it is. it. 